you can see all the fans there. Amazing. Yeah. And this is the hole in my jeans. These are the jeans I wore on the Touch Me video. This was my mum's idea. I remember very, very well my first cover for OK Magazine. I remember it. I remember having on a very small pair of denim shorts and a white T-shirt. And um, I couldn't believe the amount of copies that was sold. I was told by my record company that the magazine just went whoosh like that. And from that day on OK Magazine, every time I was in Sweden or they'd come to anywhere in Europe that I was performing to do articles on me. So, yeah, I was very happy about that. Amazing. And I remember opening it and going, oh, my God. They've, they've gone to some photo agencies and bought some old glamour pictures of me. And I felt to myself, I don't want the Swedish people thinking I'm using my boobs and my body to sell my music, because that's certainly what I wasn't doing at the time. This was before and, like, this is now. This is Sam Fox now. Well, not right now, then. <laughs> 1986. And this was... I know this is a sexy shot, but it's still rock chick. But having um, topless pictures in a kid's uh, pop magazine is a bit weird to me, I've got to say. Because it doesn't say on the front, it doesn't give um, a, pair, a warning, you have to be a certain age to buy this <laughs> magazine. That's probably why it sold so much, because they were all going in the shop going, oh, I've got to buy this copy. Woo! <laughs> well, if I helped a lot of young boys grow up, so be it. That's good. <laughs> and you as well. <laughs> Min plan was...